Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, based on the comments from the last video, everybody wanted to see me try to build a rod. I have never built a rod. I'll be honest, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm going to kind of have a clue, but well, not really. So, I ordered a bunch of stuff from a company called Mudhole, um, and what I did is I ordered this uh, MHX. Uh, this is the Elite Pro Series, and I ordered a bunch of, uh, I got the package of casting eyelets, I've got a little Norwegian sticker that I want to put on here. Um, got some blue metallic thread wrap. We've got uh, the EVA grip that's kind of the, the black and gray. A Fuji reel seat, the fighting butt. You know, we got all this cool stuff here. A nice casting reel, the, the casting Sirius. Um, and and so we're going to just sort of muddle our way through this. I'll probably make this like a, I don't know, three, four, five part series. Just kind of step by step. Try to keep the video short. So. Um, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, now, on the tip of this rod here, I've got a little protective piece on here. And what that is for is, well, obviously for protection. But when I want to find the spine of the rod, which is one of the first things we have to do, um, I can just leave that on there, and then I'm not damaging the rod when I put this tip down on my bench. So I'm going to put this down there. And I've got some soapstone here. You can use chalk or whatever you want. and. One thing is I'm going to find the spine of this rod just by putting a little bend in it here. I put a piece of tape on here so you can see this thing as it flips. And you can find the spine. There's that spine right there. That's the spine right there. So this is the belly of the, of the rod, but since this is a casting rod, I need the eyelets on this side here. So I can take my little piece of soapstone and simply just run a line down there. Now I've got a line on this rod here, and I know where my spine is. So, why don't we uh, flip this camera around, get on the bench, and we've got to lay out, uh, we're going to have to cut, uh, we're going to have to cut our grip up, figure out where we're going to want the reel seat, how long this is going to be, um, and things like that. So, let's spin it around and get to work. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just uh, line this up with the end of the pole here, about like so. <clears throat> and I already did kind of some pre-marking on this just to kind of get a basic idea of what I want. And I'm going to lay my reel seat here and then put a red mark here and one here. So I've got those marked and that's this will be my handle here. Now, one thing what with this uh, fighting butt here, I'm actually going to turn this down just a little bit, and then this, because it's this fighting butt is much bigger than the rod itself, so I can't just glue that on there. But what I can do is I can just sort of turn this down a little bit to this diameter, which is three quarters of an inch, and I'll actually epoxy this onto the actual handle itself. I think I'm going to cut this just a little bit short up here too. On this end, we'll take it off right about here, and then from here to here, we'll just kind of taper this down a little bit and feather this off. And we'll contour this. This stuff here is easily cut sandable. Um, you can shape it and, and really make it what you want. So um, I, I do like this stuff. And it's a little bit easier to work with than cork, I think. But that's just my opinion. So now what we need to do is cut this stuff up and then we'll have to come back and make some marks on our rod. Just kind of mock everything up and then we'll start getting the epoxy ready and gluing this together. Like I said, that stuff cuts just really, really simple. So there's there's the handle piece. We'll take out this section here. This is where the uh, rod, the, the reel seat's gonna go. There's my last little piece right here. I think I'll just, yeah, I think I'll just trim this off too. Okay, there's that. This stuff here also, you can just take a file, any kind of a file, and you can just clean it right up. Really, really simple. Easy to work with. I like that. Now what we can do is mock this up on the pole here. Get everything sort of figured out where we need it. So the real seats, as we're mocking this up, they're a little sloppy. So what you do 
is you take a piece of, uh, or take some of this tape here. I put a little bit, or I'm going to put a little bit extra on this, and then I can always peel some back if I need to. Okay, snug, not too tight. I need to put another piece up in here. I'm just going to take a mark or a pen here and just mark that so I know where to come back from. And wind this one up. Okay, that right there, that's nice and solid. I like the way that feels. There's, it's it's snug, but it's not it's not too tight, but it's not loose at all. It's just nice and snug. That's going to come down on there, just like that. Now, obviously, we have a lot of shaping and contouring to do, so we don't get rid of all you know get rid of all these hard edges and stuff. And that is where this comes in. This is actually going to go in the lathe, and we're just going to take some. Uh, <clears throat> what happens is these actually this takes the place of the rod. So you just put these grips over this bar here put this in the lathe and then you can just sand all this down contour it make it nice so that is our next step let's get to it so basically what I've done is I've just mocked this up here even with the tape so that gets a nice snug fit there I'm gonna put this in the lathe here and we'll just start kind of shaping this down actually I might put some tape around the reel seat just uh, just so I don't nick it with any sandpaper or anything as this thing's spinning away Okay, so we've been contouring the grips down, but now I need to get this uh, butt cap installed here. And so it just so happens to be the depth and the width are about the same. And I'm told that I can actually cut that EVA foam with this here. So let's, uh, let's go take some measurements and see if we can make this work. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we get this worked down a little bit now, and that's going to be a nice fit right there. We'll finish uh, sanding this out, and uh, I guess glued to the real rod. Okay, we've got everything nice and sanded down, and I want to make sure that when we actually do the glue this up, that the lines and the grips are are kind of aligned and matching. But other than that, I kind of like that. It's uh, I think that turned out pretty good. So, I guess from this point, we just need to mix up some epoxy and get these all glued onto this rod here. Let that set up and dry, and then we'll start uh, probably part two of wrapping the eyes on this thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some epoxy mixed up. So, thanks again to my neighbor who brought me, by the way, a ton of stuff, including some of the uh, wrapping thread, boxes of wrapping thread, but... The U40 Rod Bond Resin, it's a 50-50 mix, so I'm just going to mix it 50-50 into this little cup. Make sure you've got some either isopropyl alcohol, denatured alcohol, because we're going to have to do some cleanup with this. And then what I'm doing is I've got the, uh, <laughs> the Tetra Gun cotton swabs here. Uh, that should help with cleanup. So i got all this stuff ready. I've got a ton of paper towels. Lots of paper towels. I think you're going to need them because this stuff's going to squeeze out and go everywhere. And that's just the nature of it. So, uh, pretty self-explanatory 50-50. I don't think you need to see me mix this up, but I'm just going to do that off camera here real quick. And we'll get back to the rod build. I've got this mixed up here. And I mixed it for a good two or three minutes just to make sure it's really good and mixed. I put a little denatured alcohol on my rag here, my shop towel. All I want to do is just kind of wipe this just to make sure it's nice and clean. Just I just want to make sure that I get a really good bond. So, that up there. Now, I've seen a lot of people who slide everything in from the top down. What I've got going on here is I've got these pieces here up on top on the rod. And this one here. I'm going to come in from the bottom and shove up take the spill over and fill up my rod seat, uh, my reel seat area here. Um, I don't know if that's the right way or not, but it's the way I'm doing it, so I guess we'll find out. 
So all I'm going to do is just get a good coating of this on here. Now, one thing to note as we put this together, I've got the rod still marked for the spine of the rod with that white soapstone. So I want to make sure that we keep, you know, as we put this together, your your real seat, the the coloration of this here, everything is going to be in line with with the with the spine of the rod. So I'm going to put this on here, and I'm just going to twist it, making sure and you know, making sure I'm getting really good contact with all the epoxy. It's actually going on pretty easy. It's not hard at all. I'm just taking my time here, just kind of making sure I'm getting a good spin. Back that up just a little bit. Okay, so the end of my handle here and the end of the rod are nice and flush right there. So that's good. Now, while I'm at it, I might as well glue this on. And that is where these Tetracon cleaning Q-tips, I think, are going to come in handy. A rag that's still got some denatured alcohol on it. Uh, isopropyl, I guess, works really good too. Just remember, guys, this is my first time ever doing this, so I don't, I'm not claiming that I know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to do my best. Okay, so now I'm going to find the spine of my rod. All right, there. And I want this dark area right here, I want this facing the spine. Get that little twist right about, I think right about there. That looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, and I did, uh, because the rod tapers down, right, I did put two uh, thin pieces of tape here for the fore end of the grip just to give it a little bit more uh, more spine to that, uh, not so sloppy. Now I'm going to take some epoxy here and get some epoxy all over this. Now this has this reel seat has an open area right here so I'm going to have to be real careful about cleaning that up uh, otherwise I'm going to get a bunch of squeeze out of the epoxy um, but I still need to get some epoxy in that area because it's not totally open. So we'll just mop this on there. I just want to make sure I get as much contact as possible. And if you've noticed too, I've left a lot of the tape on the real seat because I want to um, I want to make sure that uh, no, no epoxy squeezes out and gets on the threads for the real seat and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this back up to the spine of the rod, which is right there. Since it's a casting rod, reels up here on top, eyes go down the top there. So I'm just going to take this, work this on here like so. And now while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put the fore end down here too. Okay, I've got a lot of squeeze out in here, so I want to make sure that I, before I seat that all the way down onto the real seat, I want to try to clean up as much of that as I can. Okay, now I'm going to double check the spine mark up here. Everything's in line, it's looking pretty good, I like it, and so now we just have a little bit of cleanup here to do. You can see right here in the uh, in the real seat. That's all this. That's that open area there. So I got to make sure I get that clean too. So I'm just going to come back here, find that spine because I accidentally moved this just a little bit. Go right back to there. Now I can come in here and start cleaning some of this out. Okay, so this is what it looks like, all glued up, put together. I got everything pretty well cleaned up, I think. Looks pretty good. A little bit of squeeze out right there. 
I might see if I can just get in here with the tip of one of these and just clean that up just a little bit. So, just double check everything before you let this set up and dry. We've got the spine of the rod, got the reel seat up, got, uh, I gotta spin this around just a little bit here so that uh, everything will match. There we go, just like that. Got all my lines going in the in the same direction here. And okay, that's it. Um, round one. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good, actually. I, I like the contour. There's a little bit of a swell right here. It's not big, but um, I have pretty big hands, and so that feels like it's going to fit comfortably. I don't want to grip it and move it because it's still quite wet. Um, so, right down the spine, looking good. I like the uh, I like the color, gray and blue. Well, it will be gray and blue. I like it. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching this one. And next will be part two, and we're gonna get the eyes on here and some decals and different things, and we'll just see how it goes. In the meantime, I'm gonna set this up, let her dry. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.